So tonight, something a little bit different. I don't usually even start videos this way and the glare is killing me here. So tonight, I'm going to do a build video. Not a model, or not one of my models. Uh, we're going to try one of these 57 Toys models. It's going to be a long one. Get a snack. Grab a beer. Let's go. All right, so first we'll take a look at the box. And here's the front of the box. Here's some different build options. Mode one, mode two, mode three. Number 57, armored puppet. Focus. Nothing on the back, as always. These are the core bodies. They're different core bodies. They're female core bodies. All right. Let's build one. All right. So for this one, we're going to do things a little bit different. So I've got the camera up here. I'm over here. Hopefully, I can keep everything in frame while recording. Building this set. So these come in an almost scary amount of packages, if I'm being honest. There are so many packages. Now keep in mind, this only makes one. Some stickers. This only makes one bot. One, one of the, the, the girls. And um, 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 this is this is a lot. So here's the instructions. So if this is anything like the other one I did, it's going to have us make. The torso first. Now when you're done with the torso, as you see here, it's going to have you build the whole torso. You're then going to have to remove parts. Because you build the, the basically the frame and then you remove the parts that you're going to be replacing with the, spe the specified parts. So the, we don't actually need all of this stuff out here. Like these are just the little frame thing. These go to the little frame thing. We don't need those. A1 and A2, we will absolutely need those. Now you'll notice there was some, uh, I want to show this because this is important. These are like translucent white, and we'll get back to this. And then there's teal hair. Or there's, uh, these parts are not the same as those parts. But they're the same as these parts. See that? Those are the same thing, but these are white and those are translucent. These are pink, those are blue. So I'm probably going to do the pink, but we'll get to that later. So we do not need E for any of this. We do not need F for any of this. We should not need C for any of this. We don't need C for any of this. Looks like all we're actually going to need. For the frame part is A1, A2. I'm just glancing at the instructions. Uh, no, no. Uh, B1, B2. We will need those. What the hell is this? Uh, more frame parts. More of the little base parts. Those are weapons. Those are the white bits. That uh, we don't need for the frame. Right, 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 right. Yeah, we don't need this for the frame. Uh, and then you get several hands. I'm not going to put these on there until I'm done. Uh, you get several hands doing all kinds of different poses, and these things are so tiny. So, the cutters I'm going to use are just some old model cutters from Westward. Actually, I think these are just wire cutters. 
All right. So and I'll try to make sure I get everything in frame. A2. A1. Trash, trash. B2. B1. Now, I I've done a few Gundams here and there, and I've done now a couple of these. That in no way uh, is going to make me an expert on how to make these things. Occasionally, I'm, there might be a pause of me making sure that you are still recording. Um, okay. Let's just, let's just, just get into this shit. All right. Uh, first, it's going to have us build the body. So we need a two. Uh, nine, which is a two. Nine. I'm not going to have these in front of the frame the entire time, uh, simply because of my setup here. I'm sitting at kind of an uncomfortable angle as it is. So let me see if I can. I want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. This so I'm trying to gauge. So you can see my lights. I didn't mean for you to be able to see the lights. These are the new lights I got. So hopefully the videos won't be so damn dark. All right, so that's A2. B1, we need, or A1, we need A11 and A15. A11, our little, what the, uh, B1. Fuck, that doesn't look right. My channel, I can say what the fuck I want. Uh, A11. A12. A11. A15. So I'm going to try to keep this at least somewhat interesting, so I will talk when you can't see things. So I'm going to spend the next, it's probably going to take like an hour. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm not going to fast forward the video. If you want to watch the whole thing, cool. You might add uh, timestamps or something, so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. I'd appreciate it if you watched it, even if you just play it in the background. Just help me out. Help a brother out. Because in this community, we are... I like to say we have a lot of a lot of our friends. We all help each other out. That's a beautiful thing. And then there's there's other members of other communities that are just well. You've seen some of the other communities. A two five. A two five. Snip, snip, snip. I think one day I may, may, uh, if I can get enough interest, do one of these like live. So that while I'm doing the stuff that's kind of the boring, tedious part, I can do like kind of a QA and a session. Like, ask me anything you want. I don't give a shit. Ask anything in the world. Beginnings of a torso. Wait, you're above me. Beginnings of a torso. A26. 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 I'm never going to be a singer. I don't care. Uh, oh, I'm getting to the good part. All right, so admittedly, these um, are made to be more feminine. So uh, there, there is a breastplate, and it does have um, feminine features. There you go. Um, these are not the only ones I bought. I'm just I'm waiting on more of them to arrive from other places. Uh, some of them won't come for a while. Some of them um, I have not ordered yet, or they are on back order, or whatever. Back piece. A14 and A212. A212. So, the problem I found with these things is like, some places they're ridiculously expensive. And you see how small this is. And I get it, okay? Like, before you go blasting me and blowing me up in the comments... Um, I understand the difference, okay? I understand the cost difference that there is when you are doing something like this versus a more widely known thing like a Gundam uh, versus like the toys that we buy. I understand that there's a difference in manufacturing techniques. I understand there's a difference in kind of the fan base. I totally understand that there are people who will pay a thousand dollars to build a Gundam. Not have one, build one. There's the torso. Let's do the right arm. I totally understand that. 
Um, not something I'm going to do, but I get it. I've seen how extremely expensive some of these model kits can be for different companies and stuff. I understand that. But things are only worth what you're willing to pay for them. So as uh, we go through these, if as I can find ones that I like that are of a affordable nature, I'll get more. What I'm not doing, especially for one like this, I bought three of this. The reason I bought three of this is because I liked all three models that they show on the uh, packaging and, and, and in the advertisement. But you don't get to build all three with the set. You have to buy three fucking sets. If you want all three, you gotta buy three fucking sets. Um, same thing goes for like the, there's a frog set. I really like the frog set. Do I really want to buy like six frogs because they have so many different options? No. Might I get like two of them and just pick two I really like? Yeah. That's what I'll probably do. Hell, that, that red ninja guy that I got, him by himself had like, you probably could have made two, maybe three different robots. If you mixing, matching, combining. Now, if you went full on, like, um, I want to do the hard or the heavy. Because it literally said, like, it was heavy armor and light armor. If you wanted to do one light, one heavy, there was two right there. But then you buy the wolf guy. Well, the wolf guy lets you get build an entire different set. And then on top of that, that set, just the dude, had translucent parts. So you could build the whole thing translucent. You could build the whole thing non-translucent, just regular, like I'm going to do with this. So how, how many options do you get? Options are good, but some of us uh, don't make good decisions. And maybe I don't want to choose between that version, that version, or that version. Maybe I want all fucking four of them. So then I have to struggle. Am I willing to buy all four of them? And in this case, no, I'm not. I'm honestly not. I'm sorry. Uh, well, okay, in this specific case, yes, I was willing to pay all three of those because I like the individual models. I, I like how they look. They look pretty cool. Um, they, and I have a di diorama. Diorama? Yeah. I have a diorama in my head. Left arm. I'm not going to add the hands yet. I want to pick the weapons before I add the hands. A1. Left arm starts with A1. So... Um, I know I could just buy one of each, pick a thing I want to do, put it together. I could do that. That would be fine. Am I going to do that now? I'm going to buy like two of this one, two of this one, four of this one, one of this one, one of this one, one of this one. I probably won't get any more of those red ninjas. That's an example. Not because I don't like them, but just because like, eh, I see limited potential in what I want to do with those. Well, now I bought three of these because I have an idea in my head for a scene that I kind of want to make with these. No, I don't. I'm, I don't, I'm not a diorama guy. I don't go around making dioramas. I'm going to make one specifically for these. And they're going to have their own shelf in a detail case in kind of a uh, an idea I have for a scene that will take up the entire one cube of a detail shelf using some... Uh, train pieces that I've seen around, uh, some stuff I saw at TFCon, uh, that kind of thing. I want to do that. I want to make just one cool scene, just a kind of a battle royale with a couple of this one, a couple of this one, a couple of this one. And in that, we'll have these three kind of made bots um, kicking some ass. Right arm. Oh, right leg. Right? Writer. Writer. You see that? Right. R-I-G-H-R. They're not, it's not the right leg. It's the right. Writer. It's the writer leg. Let's build his writer leg. Her. Sorry. Bees. Now we're in the bees. The bees knees. I'm going to try to be entertaining for this whole thing. I make no promises. You may not laugh. Uh, the dog's not in here for the comic relief of uh, him drinking a gallon and a half of water every time I'm not paying enough attention to him like he normally does. 
Uh, he is in the other room drinking a gallon and a half of water. Actually, he's probably not drinking any of the water because the other weird thing is that dog has never gone a day in his life without food, water, everything. That dog has never wanted for anything. I've had him since he was eight weeks old. Um, he has never wanted for anything. Much like the other people who uh, freeload off of me in this house, uh, meaning children, they have never wanted for anything I've made sure of that. Including the dog. But somehow, that dog will not, will not eat all of his food or drink all of his water if nobody is, like, around. What I mean by that is, like, I've never come into the section of the house that he's in at night and found him with no food or water. He has never once drank all of it. And I believe that he has kind of a complex. He thinks, and I don't know why, because literally he's, he's one of those, we don't have feeding times, we just keep his bowls full. And I think that he thinks that no one will fill up his bowls. That one day, Either we're going to leave him, or like I'm going to die. I don't know what he's thinking. But it's bleak. Whatever the hell he's thinking is bleak. This little piece right here is a pain. You do have to, it actually has pins. Specifically in the instructions, there are pins. <laughs> Line that up, push the other crane out. So now it's pinned in. Doesn't move. Um, I've noticed you don't have to glue anything with these models. Um, B17. I'm not going to put the B17 on there. B17 being a foot, I'm not going to put a foot on there. Because, um, we may be using a different foot. I have to look at what the white looks like. The, the white panel. B2. So far this has actually been pretty easy. It's pretty much snip all of this off, put it together. I bet you I can do it all at once. Watch. I'm not going to look at the instructions. If I mess it up, I'll just look like an asshole on camera. Which, um, let's let's be let's be honest here. Come on, that is my natural state as that asshole on the camera, uh, and I'm not even a professional YouTuber. Professionalism is not in my vocabulary, even though I just said that word. We all know what this is. We all know what this is. <laughs> I always have trouble looking, seeing some of the snip points on a couple of these pieces because they're so tiny. Hopefully you're seeing some of this. Hopefully I'm keeping it out far enough where you can see something. I'm trying. I'm trying to make you... Um, I was going to say an active participant, but you can't really do that because I'm recording all this. Because I am not, at this point, uh, capable of just like live streaming this. That's the front, so that's means this is the knee. Like I could try to at some point, but I feel like I'm gonna ignore. I'm gonna probably have to ignore the chat. Like I'm, I don't. I am not a focused man. I don't know if y'all can tell. Sometimes I can be focused. Sometimes I'll get an idea. And I'll jump into my programs and I will sit there and I will design something just to me completely awesome and to everybody else kind of what the hell is he thinking? But to me it was awesome. Get a leg. See? I didn't even need the instructions. Uh, torso. Uh, it looks easy enough. You take the crotch and you put a butt on it and a crotch on the front of it. Because uh, there's a butt and there's a crotch piece. And I'll show those to you in a moment. Um, let's see. Wait. Here's the butt piece. You couldn't tell if the one looks like a butt. There's the butt. Where's the front? Oh, 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 uh, uh, uh. hopefully I missed a step and I don't, I hope I can do that. Hopefully I'm just ruining 
shit. I picked the butt off. It's never a good time. Spend all day working on that butt. Okay, I'm gonna put this. Just a weird sentence. But I say weird shit all the time. It's what you came here for. Weird shit. Which the hell the cost piece attached to? It says A22. Oh, okay, wow, see. They're so small I can't even see them if I'm not like looking at the piece. All right, there we go. Uh, and then I can put a head on it. I'm not putting a head on it because once you're ready to put equipment on it, you do not put a head on it. So if we put it all together, it would look like this. If you put it all together, it would look like this, okay? But then in order to get it ready for equipment, you have to remove the feet, you remove the head, you move a piece off the, the seat. Actually, you know, let's throw the whole thing together real fast because then we're going to have to pull a bunch of shit off. There's reasons for that, but it's kind of annoying that we have to pull this much off. So, do, 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 do. You hear that when they when these ball joints click in? Like, these ball joints are on point. Like, Hasbro, learn. Okay. There's most of the first frame. Holy shit. Okay, so I have to remove everything from the elbow down. Have to remove the backpack. Have to remove the boobs. Said what I said. You have to remove the boobs. You have to remove Jesus. Uh, the butt. You have to remove the front. You have to remove the hips. That pelvic kind of looks like a pelvic bone. Um, what the hell? Okay, this gets even weirder. So after we've removed all that, I then have to take C1. So we actually are already getting into where we have to pick colors. And we're going to do white. We're not going to do that weird off white. So decisions have been made. Let's bring in C. I'm going to get it battle equipment ready. And then I'm going to clean up some of this and get out our next stuff. So there's going to be breaks in this. So we have, we have chosen. We have made the decision that we are going full-blown white. This says we have to take C124. Right here. And we have to split her in half. Because it... Ah. Split her in half. Because it wants us to replace the midsection. And because the midsection has its own joint right there. I can tell it makes sense why we have to do that. There we go. Okay, so that is what it should look like. That's how much stuff you have to take off. Now, if I would have put the head on and the hands and stuff and the feet, they would all be in this pile too. So this is now ready to be armored up. Now we gotta choose which one we're gonna make first. All right. Um, I figured um, I'm gonna make all three. We'll just we'll go mode one or uh, uh, build one. There's build one, two, and three. So 
uh, let's just do number one. I mean, why not, right? It's uh, it's one page of instructions. I went ahead and moved uh, everything we didn't need except for these little pieces to get these out of the way. I uh, moved everything off the sides that we didn't need and brought in everything that we will need, excluding weapons. We'll take a look at those at the end. So, and I'm going to go with the pink hair. I think one of them I might actually go with the green hair. Teal hair, whatever the hell color it is. So I need F1. And F8. Okay, cool, 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 very cool. And I have no idea how this goes together. Oh, wait. Like that? Oh, I'm picking pigtails, aren't I? Yeah, these are pigtails. I thought it was a, I actually thought it was a button again. It's not a button, it's a pigtails. Duh. How do you not know that? Like, bruh. Bruh. Uh, let's see, get that in there, but then I'm gonna have to, there we go, pop that in there. Pop it like it's hot. There you go. Uh, till they click. There we go. Now, this. Put two down. Uh, now we did have to keep A2 out because A2 has the face. Yeah. Or kind of the structure of the face, I should say. Now, this is requiring stickers. I was kind of afraid of that. So I think the stickers... Yep, the stickers are just eyes. But, the eye stickers... Your options... Are kind of fucked up because it's just four pairs of each color. And I, I can't tell there's any difference. I don't think there's a difference. Do you see a difference? Is there a difference? I don't fucking know. Alright. One right and one left. But they don't go in there, they go on a face piece on C1. C1 number 9. I think I'm going to have to add some background music when I edit this. So that you guys are bored out of your fucking minds. Uh, and then I just realized these aren't even actually stickers, are they? Are these those damn things you have to like get wet? Is that what they gave me here? I can't, what are those things? Tamper graphs or something? Is that what they're called? Dude, I don't even know how those work. Uh, so we're not gonna put, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna use the stickers on this build right now. Um, I'll figure that shit out later. So for now, I, I'd rather paint them on if I gotta do that. So there's the front of the face. All right, let's try. <sighs> totally forgot to build her, the front of her face. So I will need F7, which is the kind of front little bangs. Little bang. He's so cute. He's so cute. And I need C123 uh, because it makes kind of a headband. Or like a little fan in her hair or some shit. Oh, these tabs are so tiny. I'm scared to death I'm not scared. Off, but everything fits really, really good. So I don't think I've broken anything yet. Oh, look at these. Okay. And then line up that with that. And then hope I'm going the right direction. And push, 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 push. Ah! And there we go. It's like a nurse. That's weird. Whatever. I chose to do these. I can't complain now. 
All right, so now we're getting into, that's the head. Next, the body. C116. C116. Or, well, these are dainty as shit. When it gets to some of these pieces, I am so afraid that I'm going to fuck this up. That I'm going to snip off the wrong thing at the wrong angle. See, like these. I feel like I need more cleanup. I don't usually clean up the cuts. So some of you who probably like doing these are probably screaming at your screens right now. Why aren't you doing the cleanup? I still see flashing marks. Uh, or sprue marks. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Man. I'm sorry. I just, I'm not that dude, man. I don't do these for like, they have to be perfect. I do these for like, that looks cool. I like it. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to attach this piece and I'm going to point out something. So that almost matching the color of the rest of the frame 100% looks like she is topless in an apron. I don't think that was supposed to be the intention. And I'm hoping that there's a lot more. I mean, there's a lot more of this E color. And I'm hoping it stands out against that gray. Because it's not the same. Like the A is the gray. The E is the other gray. It's different. This is darker. But that straight up looks like she, she ain't wearing a clothes. And... I wasn't planning on making no naked booty bots. That was not my intention. And who was it I showed? I showed some of these off to some of the other guys in one of the the chats that we got. And I think uh, I think Deluxe thinks I'm a pervert now. I get it. I get it. I get it. C one twenty two. Looks like I'm building panties. So we get past this part. I just want to get past this part and build her little skirt and put it all together in this knot. Seems so weird. I agree. I knew what I was doing when I bought this set. I was like, okay, yeah, fine. But it's going to look cool when I'm done. And maybe I'm just more hung up about it than I probably should be because it really shouldn't fucking matter. I think there's just a, there's a stigma. There's definitely a stigma. Oh, that's a frame. Yeah, I keep, sorry, I keep pulling out of frame. This ah, slides onto the front side and locks in. Okay, that makes sense. And then, hey, she gets a new butt. New butt, 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 butt. Where's the butt, butt? C210 or E11. Jesus Christ, really? Alright, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm looking at C1, that's the problem. C210. So, alright, full disclaimer. I wondered if this was going to have a spot that it was going to be kind of weird. And it does. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, I'm going to snip these pieces off so I can show you what I'm talking about. Looking at the instructions, specifically for the torso. Pop off this waist piece that I put on, and we look back at the the underwear part. Take this little crotch piece off. Okay. We had options. 
I didn't even notice because I just figured, okay, of course it would be the way. You have options to not give her color that would look like she's wearing underwear on a robot. Uh, and I'll show you those on the back. You can use a white butt, or you can use a gray butt. And I don't know if it's because I mean it's not the exact same color as like the robot skin. It is a different color. It's not white, but you can you can also do the front. I guess it's whichever way you want your little maid to look. Sometimes I regret the wrong decisions. We're going to go white because that's just. We're just, we're going to go white. That's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. I'm going to go white. There we go. Everything is white because it's all, um, it's a robot and it's a toy, but now it's dressed. We're going white. We're going to take that off the table. I have daughters and I've struggled with shit like this forever of Barbie dolls that have weirdness to them like outlines of, of underwear or like weird bulges in the pants of Ken dolls and it's always been just like a weird like why? Why does there have to be anything there? Why do you have to discriminate or why do you have to like why is that even a thing? I never understood it. Let's get back to building. And I'm sure somebody will say, you're like, you're making way too big of a deal about this. And I probably am. I don't even think I'm making that big a deal about it. I just think it's like a little bit weird. Yeah, I get it. There's a there's cultural differences. Some people like shit that other people don't like. And that's fine. And some people like shit that's really fucking weird. That's fine too. Yo, I, I'm into some weird shit sometimes. It's just uh, not particularly robots and panties. But I guess I get it. So it looks like we're building little side skirts. Eh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, that looks, that's, here, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to throw one of them on here just so you can see it already. Because, sorry. The way the skirt is going to look looks pretty cool. Like, that's going to look pretty cool. And this isn't a hard thing to do. Snip. E for the two tone of the kind of grayish color next to the white, and then the body frame being a little bit different. That actually is kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, that actually it does look pretty cool. Just those two grays are just different enough that they're definitely not the same, but they don't clash. I guess that'd be a good word for it. Like, because that'd be what I guess I'm worried would be worried about. Would be like, do, do they clash? Does it look like shit? So long as it doesn't look like shit, it should look good, right? I have no idea how boring this is for anybody who's actually going to watch this. I'm hoping it's not that boring. I'm hoping you're at least mildly entertaining. Maybe that my commentary works a little bit. Please don't be a commentary. <sighs> Mistakes were made. I didn't, know what, I didn't think it, if, if this was going to get weird. And let's be honest. I should have known better. I should have known this was going to get weird. But I don't care. But, you know what? I don't care. Because this line is so damn good. 
these little things so far, I mean, yeah, I know I've only gotten the the red kind of samurai looking dude and the, the, the wolf. This line, these figures are so damn cool. Yeah, there's a back butt. There is a butt cover. Thank you. Let's see. One. One. I almost just cut the damn pen off. That would suck. See one, one, two, E fourteen. Cool. There's her. There's her skirt. All right. Arms. The arms should be pretty easy because it's just going to add to this and then we're going to build forearms. So it is C13. C16. C15, okay, so it's, it's just the forearm. This is just building the forearm. I wonder if I could like tag this as like an ASMR video. Is this relaxing? Can this thing from the fucking camera? I keep forgetting this up. I think I'm relaxed. Ugh, my fingers are starting to hurt in pieces, they're damn tiny. I'm only making one of these a night. Okay, it's a white form. Makes sense. Cool. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish that arm. I'm gonna show you what the what the arm looks like real quick. But I see one four. I'm gonna skip a step and just for the sake of like I just want to see what the arms look like. Yeah, I wonder if I can label these as like ASMR videos. Of me just using snips and just snips and snips. There we go. Cool little shoulder pads. It's kind of neat, right? To me, yeah. I think it's neat. I think it's cool as shit. I think I like making these little robots. I think it's why occasionally I grab Gundams and stuff, especially if you go to Hobby Lobby and they're forty percent off. It's the best time to get Gundams. Especially if you're not like a serious Gundam guy and you just throw one together at night and just kind of like do something with your hands while you're watching TV. Or while you just kind of have something on in the background. That's what I do a lot. I actually kind of wonder if this is going to take longer. It shouldn't take longer because I'm talking. But it's just going to feel longer. Because like I'm, I'm occupied, I'm talking. I'm interacting with my audience. But normally when I do shit like this, I'm watching TV. Or at least there's something on. Right now there's nothing on. I'm in silence listening to myself talk, which is probably why I'm rambling, rambling on so damn much. Not going to pick hands yet. The hands are not in white, which is interesting now that I think about it, but I digress. All right. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the arms. So now we do the legs, and then we'll be done. And then we can show this off. And um, again, like I said, I'm only going to do one of these on camera. Uh, unless, like, this does amazing. If everybody just really loves this, and they just want me to do a whole bunch more of these, then I'll do it. I'm sorry, I keep pulling them out of the camera. Yeah, so leave a comment. Yay or nay? Do you want me to keep doing these on camera? If you do, I got a bunch more coming. Plus, I have two more of her in with different armor designs. And maybe we'll just start with the frame in the next one, because now you've seen how this main frame goes together. Um, yeah, if people want me to do more of these on camera, I can do that. Hell, something I'm going to do anyway, I'll just record it and talk to myself. 
which is probably what happens most of the time anyway. I just don't realize it because I'm not actively paying attention to how much I talk to myself. But if I had to guess, it's probably a lot. I probably talk to myself way more, especially now than I did before. Actually, you know what? No. I won't delete it. No matter what, this video is going up. Y'all are used to my professionalism as it is. Let me get over here. All right. C17 and C120. So these are her little boots. Uh, oh, okay. They're like their two-tone boots. That's fine. Cool. Cool. And this one needs to be E6. T20. I'm sure somebody will comment about how my hands just look disgusting. Okay. Thought about putting gloves on to do this. Because I will admit my hands probably do look kind of jagged, messed up. My fingers are always tore up. My hands are always tore up. A nice lovely little wound right there. Uh from opening a box. I tend to just and it wasn't even from like the paper of the box. It was that crappy tape that's got the threads in it. Yeah. Come on, shoe. I think it's been a breeze, and then I get to this shoe, and it doesn't want to go real. All right, cool. Lock that in. Lock that in. And that's it. So, let's look at the guns. Um, she actually does come with quite a few guns. They're down here, listed as, like, how you put them together. So there's, like... A sniper rifle and kind of like a mini, a, a kind of a little, little machine gun, a uh, handgun, hand grenade, and uh, a knife with a sheath. So, does it show us? Sometimes these instructions are good about this. Oh, you know what? You know what? Let's do this. I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to do this. That's going to be her. I think the two, the two handguns. Okay, let me grab the guns. I'm feeling the, I'm feeling the handguns. And if I can if I can find the baggie that has the hands. Here we go. Here's the hands. Um I'm not dumb. I can figure out the guns. There's so many. Look at this. Uh gun, grenade, gun. Another part of a gun, another gun. So there's two small handguns, so we could do two small handguns. There's like a battle rifle and a sniper rifle. I think what I want to do. I love that the magazine for this gun is separate. So we're here for that gun. And then you know what? You know what? Just because I kind of want to go a little bit overkill with this first one. I'm not going to do the sniper rifle. Oh! Oh, I see what they did. Oh, that's kind of cool. I was going to give her also a battle rifle. You can't. So this is really cool. Let me show you how this works. You got a machine gun. You got a little hand machine gun right here. It fits inside the battle rifle. How cool is that? You can have both. It comes like one set. It just there you go. It goes from like a friggin' Tech Nine to like an AR. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, I mean, I am gonna go for the kitchen knife and the sheath to the kitchen knife. And uh, there's a reason why I'm gonna do this specifically with the kitchen knife and the sheath to the kitchen. And that reason is, um, 
simply because with the pigtails and everything else, she just she she looks crazy. She does. She looks crazy as shit. I don't. Well, hold on a second. How do they have it so that it's on? They didn't have it that it's on her hip. That's different. That's a different skirt. That is a completely different skirt. And like, I don't like that sheath on her back. Uh, so let's do, let's get the, the gun in hands. So you have, you have a bunch of options. You can do the, you can do the little peace sign. You have that like hand out like this. Guns with trigger fingers. Uh, closed fists. Uh, those are like knife holding hands. And these are just kind of relaxed hands. So we need gun with trigger fingers. Or hands with trigger fingers. There we go. Uh, which hand is that? Put that. There. Put that. There. And what other gun? What other gun? What other gun do we want her to have? Um, yeah, the small handgun. Yeah, why not? Why not? I have a slight conundrum. There's two magazines for that gun. There's no other frame that uses that gun. But there's two magazines. Put it there. There we go. All right. Um, so this is, let's see. Uh, Ma, this is, wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Doesn't say which one it is. So, I mean, essentially, uh, it's model one with uh, model two's guns. Because I just died like that, that way. Because, you know, it's like that one and that one are wearing the same skirt. Because you can mix and match. You can give the long skirt with the, the with that top to whichever one. Because it's all the same. You're just swapping the skirt out. So you can give her the long one. You, you can give uh, her the long hair instead of her the long hair. You can do whatever you want. I actually probably gonna do almost exactly this. I'm gonna have her, she's gonna have the two guns. Just I don't know why that one screams two guns. I'm gonna probably do the knife, the knife thing with this one, maybe, or I'll go full battle rifle. That one's gonna be the sniper, just like the picture. And that's how I'm gonna kinda of have them set up when I do the diorama. But I just I love these. And these weapons, you can use any of them with any of the other ones, if you really want to. The only thing that's even remotely different between this and all the rest of them is uh this is a specific feminine frame so specific to this one uh it has the feminine frame it has yeah you can change it so that it's got a underwear or not and you can change it to you know the chest and stuff and around with these different sets whatever uh posability everything's like, like almost like that's ball jointed at the at the uh shoulder there's also because that just kind of pegs in. He also has a, she also has a rotation there. That's a that's a good joint there. Uh, it's just a normal elbow joint. No or no uh, rotation, but you got rotation up here, and then you got ball jointed hands. But then like the skirt moves because it's also on kind of joints. So like she can do and double knees. Yeah, those are double knees. Essentially double knees. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be double knees. But, like, you can do, like, a... Uh, dropping through a skylight, drop kick somebody while you shoot them in the face kind of thing. Whatever. You can do whatever. Like I said, I'm probably going to paint the eyes. 
I don't like those stickers. So here's this. Here's a full build of um, one of these. Oh, where's the box? Shit. Full build of a number 57 armored puppet. This is Yui. I think that's how you pronounce that. That's Yui. We went with a, a kind of a hybrid between the ditzy one and uh, the dual wielding. I like the dual wielding. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing you how to build the base. There's a base system that you can build. I'm not going to bother with that. This video I think is long enough. So if you want to see me do some more of these, uh, let me know if you want to see the build. If you want to just kind of see the finished product and that kind of thing, um, I'll, as I build these things, I'll do little reviews on them. So if you want to see the other two girls get built, um, I'll hold off until the review's been up for a few days, or the video's been up for a few days, and you guys let me know. So that being said, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like what you see, help me out. Until next time.